Hi, I'm Monica Papworth reporting for Channel 62 News. Today on the campus of WCU, a baby black bear was sighted sleeping in the bushes by the Reed Gym. Many students gathered around to witness this event. What can you tell us about the situation and with the black bear cub? We actually had a very small bear cub, um, probably 20, 25 pounds, that some students, students saw sleeping in the bushes, and they notified campus police so that we could come over and assess the area. Um, it looked like mama was not around, which was a good thing. Um, after talking to wildlife out of Asheville, the biologists, we determined that since the mother bear had not been around, that it was likely it was an orphan. Okay. And so they were going to come down and assess it, and we just tried to keep him, keep him safe and keep everybody away from him until we could get those folks here. When they come down and they assess him, they'll take him back up to Asheville, make sure that he's okay. Um, likely he'll be released in a more appropriate setting. Um, he was very healthy when they put him in the cage, and he'll be, he'll be happy to get back into the woods. This year, the food sources in the upper areas and elevations have been very limited. And okay. because of that, the bears have come down a little bit closer into towns, whether it's Silva or whether it's here on campus, they've come a little bit closer into where they smell food, where they know there are food sources. Um, so that's why we've seen a little bit heavier traffic with the bears. Okay. Normally they don't stay, they head right off of campus. Right. It's very important that students don't approach the bear, they stay away from the bear, they need to call university police, then dial 227-8911 to let us know right away so that we can ensure that everybody is safe, the students are safe, and ensure that the bears get away from campus quickly. And one of the challenges we had here today was when the students started to congregate, it just scared them even more. Um, obviously an orphan cub is already scared and disoriented, and so all the noises and the sounds actually scared them even a little bit more, made the job a little bit more difficult. And it could have been just the opposite. If mom would have shown up, then we could have had a very serious incident with a mother looking for her baby cub. That's news when you need it. I'm Monica Papworth reporting for Channel 62 News.